Hey YouTube, it's Nevermore Moto, and today we're going to head over to the Baltimore Streetcar Museum. Fire Department Crossing. Going on a nice Sunday ride. And we're going to talk about some of the cool things that people in the area are doing to, I guess, entertain us during this uh, pandemic. Um, yeah. reason I'm talking about that is because I know a lot of us can't go out and ride right now. Um, I know for, for us here in Maryland, we're not supposed to be in groups of 10 or more, but uh, I don't even do that. I just ride with, you know, with just myself. Um, I don't even do that often. It's pretty much just like, you know, keep the bike going, keep the battery charged, keep my insanity at bay. There's a lot of cool people who are doing cool things, who are, you know, trying to keep everyone's spirits up, and I just want to kind of take the time in this video to, you know, recognize a few of the people that I've seen who've been, you know, going above and beyond to do that kind of stuff. Um, there's a lot of bike shows this year have been canceled due to COVID-19, and, uh, you know, it's been kind of a bummer. Uh, I know for me personally, motorcycling has been a... You know, the largest part of, of a way that I socialize. You know, a lot of my friends are motorcycle riders. Um, you know, some of the places I visit are, you know, motorcycle inspired or, you know, just part of the ride itself. You know, and there's some restaurants, even if you go out somewhere, there's no guarantee that you'll have a place to sit down and relax. You know, a place to get up and walk around. Um, certainly not a bathroom or, or, or a place to sit down and actually grab a bite to eat or a beer that, that just doesn't exist right now so if you're gonna go out it's got to be a short little run um, and just enough to get out and stretch those riding legs I guess I mean, there's nothing stopping me from going to Gettysburg and taking a nice two-hour ride but I know realistically I'm gonna to want to get off the bike, get a bike to eat. Bathroom would be nice sometimes. Uh, that's just that's just not happening right now. So uh, two for the soul. Uh, their group in DC put on a quarantine bike show. Uh, what this was was a bike show based on video submissions, uh, and I submitted one myself. But if you saw my last video, that was my submission video, uh, just talking about all the mods I've done to the bike. But everyone took, you know, two minutes to talk about their bike, uh, see it run, uh, if there's any, you know, unique story behind it or anything they wanted to share about their bike, you know, that was a plus. And they posted these videos, I think there's about 60 of them, and, you know, they talked about, you know, their favorite ones. And, you know, loose you know, system voting and they gave out trophies and that was really cool but it was a virtual way to have a bike show that you know let everyone enjoy it at the same time so it was kind of cool 
you know, if we can't have it the way we want it, at least someone's getting creative and having a bike show, you know, a way that we can. Uh, then I have my friend Cole, who is the creator of the Bike Meets app. Uh, so there's bikemeets.com, there's the Bike Meets app. Um, it's a place where you create a po profile and it's a way to find other riders in your area. But not only finding other riders, but he's trying to build up, you know, a mapping system that lets you find, you know, people's routes. And sometimes it's not, you know, whole routes necessarily as points of interest, so... My plan today was to go to the Baltimore Streetcar Museum to take pictures there as a point of interest, but Falls Road was closed, so that plan got squashed. But uh, point of interest. Um, you know, he wants to have you know, places on the map like, hey guys, this is a place that I ride my bike to that's really cool. You should go check this out too. And he puts a corresponding picture of the person who took the picture of the spot with their bike. And, you know, a little plot point on the map that lets you know, you know, hey, this is where it is. Uh, so we've been joking about doing a covered bridge tour because I realized there's probably like six or seven of these covered bridges in the uh, Maryland area. Those are really weird, unique spots. Uh, so Maryland Moto had a couple. He took, I took a picture of Jericho Bridge at a coal because he went there. He saw it. He was excited. Uh, you know, just unique places. Uh, not only that, but he also does uh, moto businesses too. Things that, you know, whether it's a mechanic, a shop. Uh, we have a cool place here called Pillion Tea. It's a moto based tea shop. You know, you places out west, you'd have like, you know, CC motors, things like that. Um, but, you know, it's new. He's getting it off the ground. And, uh, you know, go check it out. Go set up a profile. It might be a way you can meet people, it might be a way you could find cool new places to ride to that you, you know, right under your nose, you never knew existed. Just another rider may have pointed out and be like, hey, you know, there's this really cool spot right here that's you know, two miles from your house. I just never knew it was there. So for that aspect alone, it's kind of cool. But also, you know, you get to meet people who, um, you know, has the same bike as you or just lives close enough to you that you might want to go out and ride. Yep. Bike meets kind of sound self-explanatory, you know, it's a way to meet other riders. So much for me trying to be helpful and share a spot. Oh well, another time. But uh, yeah, I just want to talk about things that are going on, things that are happening, things people are trying to do to keep each other sane during all this. There's enough insanity out there, we might as well do what we can to prop each other up and help each other out. So, In the meantime, support your small businesses, support the small things people are trying to do to help keep each other sane, share stuff, like stuff, get the word out there. And so there's a lot of people who are doing a lot of really cool things right now and spread that love. That's all I got for this video today, guys. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but, you know, sometimes stuff doesn't work out. And that's okay. It's a long run. I got to get out and ride anyways. Never a bad day when you can get out on the bike.